You know, whenever I hear people say, I don't need therapy or therapy is for other people or my life hasn't been that hard. I don't have any trauma. Uh, I don't really need therapy. Other people do, but like I don't or they kind of play like the pain Olympics and think that their pain isn't sufficient or doesn't warrant therapy, that therapy is for like the really messed up people. To me, that is like saying, I don't really need to wear deodorant because <laughs> it's like, I'm fine. I, I don't need it. But it's this like total lack of awareness of what it must be like to be around me without wearing deodorant. And there's no awareness of my experience sort of oozing out into other people's space or nose in this analogy because when you go to therapy it is such a gift that you are giving your family your kids if you have them your partner if you have them yourself obviously but I know a lot of times people don't I don't know like they don't think that one counts doing it for themselves but as far as what you could be gifting your kids it is such a huge gift that you can give to your kids and your your partner and your you know family of origin your parents and siblings and stuff because everybody will have some sort of trauma in their childhood and what's my favorite definition of trauma is peter levine a trauma guru his definition which is trauma is any experience where you feel profoundly hopeless or lose your ability to cope and I think that when you look at it through that lens, because I think most people think of trauma as like assault or a car accident or being in war. And that is all trauma for sure. But the average person will usually experience some form of trauma in their childhood or their young adult lives or at some point in their life because they're, that's sort of inevitable with life that you're going to have an experience where you feel profoundly hopeless or lose your ability to cope, right? If you think about it that way, that you've had these experiences in your life where you felt helpless. And that could be, you know, a parent had cancer or uh, you had to move schools a lot when you were a kid or uh, your parents fought a lot. Whatever it is, there would have been experiences that you kind of locked away in there that were dramatic. And whether or not you want to admit it, whether or not you want to acknowledge that that stuff left a mark, it's oozing out of you. It's seeping into other relationships, other experiences. It's tainting your experience of life. It's often tainting other people's experience of you. It's giving you a lens through which you see the world. And a lot of times people don't realize that a lot of the beliefs they have about themselves are just the, the way they see the world comes back from old stories um, from childhood or their adolescence or their 20s that often is connected to trauma or traumatic experiences. So I just want to throw that out there to maybe people who are thinking therapy's not for me, like saying deodorant's not for me, have a think about the blind spots that you might have that your stuff is oozing out into the other people in your life that you care about. And Maybe just thinking about it from that angle that this is a gift I can give to my family and my loved ones um, because it is impacting me in ways that I don't even realize usually. And the cool thing is when you do therapy, you then change for yourself. You change you change in ways that you didn't maybe even know were going to be helpful or more fulfilling to you or whatever. Uh, but you're also modeling for those around you that therapy is for everyone. It is not just for people who have, uh, you know, been to war or experienced really horrific torture or anything like that. Therapy is for everyone. Um, and it helps everybody. It helps the whole family and it helps the whole community uh, when people engage in it. So yeah, hope that helps.